Page. Back to the NBA and the new, the latest big three. It's in the Big Apple. So of these three, who's the go-to guy at crunch time? Who would you want to have the ball? Who gets the play called for them? Well, second spectrum, since they started tracking at the start of the 14 season, Harden, Kyrie, and KD rank in the top eight, and ISO's in clutch time. That's defined as the last five minutes and the scores within five points. Durant's 1.19 points per possession on those plays is actually the best among the trio. So you're welcome. That should be your answer. Reaction around the league as this news broke yesterday and today, beginning with the two-time defending MVP, Giannis. It's an amazing uh, move for Brooklyn. Obviously, uh, they got better, way better. Um, you know, and uh, they really powerhouse right now in the East. Uh, having KD, James Harden, Kyrie Irving um, together in one team, you know, that's, that's tough. You know, obviously, trades and things happen every year. And, uh, you know, for me, you know, my, my main focus on what we do here and how we continue to get better. Um, and that was the case today. You know, uh, you know, the trades happened today and I couldn't allow myself to kind of indulge in that, knowing that we had a team that we had to play tonight. So my main focus today was on the Thunder. Eric, is there a sense of relief that the, the limbo is now over? Well, the only thing is now we have a, you know, we have more direction on um, what you know, it needs to be even more at this point. That's, that's all that is. ESPN NBA reporter Brian Windhorst joins me now live. And Brian, it looked like this deal came down to the wire, really, between Harden going either to Philadelphia or where he ended up in Brooklyn. What more can you tell us about what happened behind the scenes that led to the Nets ultimately winning out? Yeah, say just as a question that has been asked around the league for the last 24 hours is if Ben Simmons was on the table, which all all uh, signs point to him actually being available in trade, uh, an all NBA player under five year contract, 22 years old. Why would Houston not take the sure thing and instead go with the draft picks from Brooklyn and the scar tissue that exists between the Rockets organization and Philadelphia uh, president Daryl Morey is something that cannot be ignored here. And um, only Tillman Fertitta and Raphael Stone, uh, the people who executed the trade in Houston, know that. But it is surprising that they would go that direction and the un against the unknown picks. The other thing, Sage, the two young players that Brooklyn gave up in this trade, Karis LeVert and Jared Allen, neither of, neither of them stayed in Houston. They were both rerouted elsewhere, right. um, which indicated this was a, a trade that saved money as well. Wow, incredible. A lot of people talking about that for, for very good reason. Uh, the key player heading to the Rockets now then in that four-team deal is Victor Oladipo, who is eligible for free agency at the end of the season, this expiring contract. So what is his long-term outlook in Houston, Brian? Yeah, so he has made it clear uh, to, the, to, the, to the Pacers that he is looking for big money in this offseason, hoping to have a big year. And if the, if the Rockets are indeed watching their payroll, which their other moves imply, it's not out of the realm of possibility, and teams, other teams are expecting Victor Oladipo potentially to be available in trade again this year. A um, couple of teams to keep an eye out for, uh, the Dallas Mavericks and the Miami Heat are two teams that were expected to pursue Ol Oladipo in free agency. They couldn't maybe make a deal with the Pacers. Maybe now they can make a deal with the Rockets. Also keep an eye on P.J. Tucker, a possibility to be traded. I don't think the Rockets are done uh, shopping players to get uh, off salary and also to get draft picks. And, and for Oladipo, one final note, I mean, as good of a player as he has proven to be, this is now his third team in just the last five seasons. So interesting as he continues. Remember, he had the injury a couple years ago as well. So we'll see if he actually ends up staying in Houston. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.